Hello everyone, Vita Zay Fruity back with another How to Play. And today we're looking at How to Play Cahoots by Jay Treat and Mayday Games. I believe this is one of two games I currently have by Mayday, the other one being uh, Dead Hand Draw. Dead Ma that, what was it called? Dead Hand Draw, I think. <laughs> I forget what it's called, but it's a, uh, it's a press your luck game, set collecting game. Dead Man's Draw, I believe it's called. A pirate theme, I know that much. I just don't recall the game exactly, the name. I know the game, I don't recall the name. <laughs> Anyways, uh, in this game though, this is a trick-taking game. Cahoots, with 48 cards. Uh, 48 card deck, you'll see in a minute. And four identity cards, a star player card, and a rule book. And uh, it is ages 12 and up. Three to four players. This is the start player card, and there's a woman and a man, so you can be with whatever one you want. And each player is going to get de dealt out one of these identity cards. And you just mix them up. They are the same on both sides. And uh, each side has, each card has three different suits, as you'll see. Line is all up so it's visible. And this game has six different suits red hearts, yellow stars, purple clubs, green cups, and uh, blue diamonds for what it's worth. And these cards you have, each player is uh, basically going to be partnered up in cahoots with somebody else throughout the game. Uh, you know, I'll try to explain that as best as I can. By this game, you're basically forced to conspire or be in cahoots with other players. It's all about cooperating, negotiating, backstabbing, and bluffing to win. And these symbols, you're going to share one of these symbols with each other player. So, star, he's got a star. Club, he has that. Heart, he has that. So, we each share one symbol with each other on those cards and um the cards themselves and the first the deal is going to get this and then it's going to move to the left the cards you get are like this there is the different suits and it indicates the value as well in pips on the sides uh from what i recall it's one four per suit two fives two sixes two sevens and one Eight for a suit, if I recall correctly, is what you get. Now, if you're playing with three players, you're going to remove, I believe, a five and a seven from one, five and seven from each suit. So that there's less cards. Well, we're going to do a four player game here. And these suits are important. You're going to want to make sure you're aware of what your suits are, as you'll see. Right, maybe I'll turn these this way. So each player is going to get 12 cards. It doesn't matter how many people are playing. So I'll just quickly deal those out. Just give me a second, a couple of seconds, really. And there we go. Now it's a little bit different for free players, so we're not gonna really worry about that for now. So it's a pretty basic trick taking game. And I'm gonna play, you know, maybe I start I uh, playing eight of clubs. The next player is gonna go, and it is not must follow, so they can play whatever they want. And maybe they wanna play uh, a seven of stars. Then the next player goes, Maybe he wants to play a f an Eight of Cups, perhaps. And then this guy's going to go, and he's going to play, uh, maybe he plays a Five of Cups. 
And then each player is going to play a second card. So I'm going to play another card. Maybe I'm going to play... Mm, damn. Damn, damn. Maybe I'm going to play a seven of spades. <laughs> and then this guy's going to play another card. Maybe he plays a six of clubs. And this guy plays another card. He's just going to play, you know, whatever. We'll play this one. And then... This guy says, you know what, I'm going to play, uh, he's going to play a six of hearts. So each player will play two cards during one round. And then we're going to look at the values to see which one won. So whichever suit has the highest value, in this case it's the club, since it has 14. This one's 13, as is this one. I'll get into what happens if there's a tie. So this is going to win. Now you're going to look at who has clubs. That would be me and he. <laughs> um, and so what happens is we're each going to split two points. Two point sheets. Because it won. And what's going to happen now, starting with me as a dealer, I'm either going to take a card, put it back in my hand. Maybe I decide I want this six. And, and then everyone else is going to do the same thing. And you can either take a card or you get rid of it. So maybe this guy decides he wants this eight. And then this guy says, uh, let's get rid of this heart. So he's going to dump the heart. And then this guy says, you know what? I'm going to dump the star. And then it comes back to me. Now... You're going to do the opposite in the second round. So I collected a card. Now I'm going to dump one. So I'm going to dump this card. And then he also collected one, I believe. Yeah. So he's going to dump a card. Maybe he dumps the six of spades. And then these guys are each going to collect one of these cards into their hand. These four cards that were dumped now become the, uh, as I drop round, they become... The point trackers for me and the other players. So me and this guy each got two cards, two points each. So that's how that's going to happen. And now this goes to the next player. And now you're going to do the same thing. But now instead of having 12 cards, you have 11 cards. And then you go around and do the same thing. Now, let's just see what happens if you were to do, you know, let's see if we can make a tie happen here just randomly. Perfect, perfect. That is a tie. No, it's not. He's going to play a different card. <laughs> That's a freeway tie. We won't do that. I want to have a tie. Okay, there you go. I apologize. <laughs> and then it comes to me, and I'm going to play this card. So what happens if there is a tie like this? These two have 14. That's a good question. I have to look that up. I don't recall exactly. I know more or less what happens. <laughs> um, hey, what happens is if there's a tie now, if I recall, is you're going to see who has both of these suits. That would be me. That means I get four points if you have both of those suits. Now, if there happens to be a freeway tie, you're going to see... Uh, let's say we had this seven here instead of it's four. You're going to see if somebody has all three of those suits. And if they do, they would get the points. Otherwise, you're going to divide them up amongst everyone. Each player will get one point, if I recall correctly. And so you're going to keep playing. You're going to go through all the cards. And at the end, you're going to see who has the most points. That's, that's basically it. It's an interesting game. Interesting trick-taking game where... You're not following suit. Sometimes you're going to be cooperating with an opponent to try to get one of these values up so that it wins, particularly one that you have, perhaps. Or, or you're going to be perhaps taking a card that somebody else wants. Or you're going to be bluffing. You know, there's all sorts of things that's going to be happening. Bluffing, backstabbing, all that fun stuff. Let me just make sure I didn't cover or forget anything else.
And the very final phase, the keeping and killing phase, will just be for collecting cards, uh, or for, for points. The rest of the cards are not relevant, obviously. You're not going to keep in anything. So that's the scoring. The highest value, as I mentioned before, you know, I'd say that was that one. Highest value, whoever are the two players that have that suit, that would be him and that player over there, they would divide up the four points that are available in this round between them. So to each, just like me and this guy did with the first hand. If there's a tie, whoever has both those winning suits, so if we went back to, to this, there's a tie. Whoever has both of those suits, that was me, I'm going to go cahoots. And I'm going to win the points, all four of them, by myself. Because I'm in cahoots with myself, I guess. <laughs> um, if each player happens to have one of the winning suits... Yeah, if each person has one of those winning suits, like let's say it was, instead of clubs, let's say it was diamonds. Let me see if I can find a set of diamonds. So let's say this is the tie here. Diamonds and stars. Now, because nobody has both of those, it's basically a four-way tie. So this is where we're each going to get one point because... He has a diamond, but no star. Same with him. We both have stars with no diamonds. So that if, if that happens, if this, if this is the tie between two suits that one person does not have both of, then everyone gets one point. Um, if there happens to be a three-way tie, let's point out that seven that I threw away, or uh, eight card, if we have a three-way tie like this, then if somebody has all three suits, they will get all the points. And they will announce cahoots. But in this case, one person does not have all three suits, so nobody gets cahoots, and everyone will get a point, basically. Or everyone that has those suits, which is gonna be everyone, because I had stars, he has diamonds. Everyone gets a point. Um, and again, if two players each have two of the three winning suits, then they're going to get two points each. So, in his case, uh, that would be, it. let's say, if I had... It's a little bit tricky to do that one. But, you know, you get the idea. You can... Look at that if you want to see it up close. It's a pretty cool game. Now, let's not confuse this. Let's do that there. <laughs> let's see. Uh, four winning suits. You know, multiple people. Well, that would be a bad example. Anyway. Um, let's, I don't want this to be confused with another game called Cahoots that came out in the same year, 2018, by... Um, I forget the name of the company. It's on the tip of my tongue. I have a number of games from them. Game Light. Game Light. That's who it is. Game Light put out a game called Cahoots in 2018 as well. That one is readily available on Amazon and whatnot. But it is not the same game. That is a, a game where you're trying to work together to get to play cards and fulfill certain contracts. It's a different game. It's kind of simple. More simple, I suppose. But this one... Cahoots by May Mayday is a little bit harder to find. I got this on eBay a few months ago, and I like it. Decent quality cards. Blade and Finis, I believe. And that is that. Um, I like it. Comment, like, subscribe, I know what you think. Well, see you next time. Thanks for watching. Are you going to be in Cahoots? Are you going to get this game? Let me know. See ya.